Goodwill Community Foundation, creating opportunities for a better life. There comes a time with every presentation when you have to actually deliver it to an audience. Luckily, PowerPoint comes with several different tools that can help you give a smooth, professional-looking presentation. When you're ready, there are many ways to start playing your presentation. For example, using the command on the Quick Access Toolbar, the button at the bottom of the window, or the options on the Slideshow tab. In this example, we're going to click the button here, which will take us to the first slide in the presentation. Alternatively, you could press the F5 key on your keyboard to do the same thing. To go to the next slide, you can click your mouse, or press the spacebar on your keyboard. You can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard to go backwards or forwards. You can also use the menu in the bottom left corner that appears only when you move your mouse. This gives you easy access to navigation buttons and also some other options that can help during your presentation. Have you ever wanted to access something else while you were in the middle of a presentation, for example? Maybe a website or a file in another program? All you have to do is click Screen, then choose Show Taskbar. Now you can access the File Explorer, your web browser, and anything else that you have pinned to your taskbar. When you're ready to exit the program, all you have to do is close or minimize the window, and you'll be taken straight back to the full screen presentation. Getting back to the menu, another tool I use pretty often is Show All Slides. Just click the button here. This displays a thumbnail version of each slide in your presentation, so you can easily skip ahead or go back. You can access the same feature by right-clicking anywhere on the screen, then choosing See All Slides. Now would be a good time to practice using some of the drawing tools, which can help to call attention to specific things in your presentation. Just open the menu here, and you can turn your cursor into a pen, a highlighter, or even a laser pointer. First, select the tool you want, then click and drag to draw anywhere on the screen. This makes it easy to point out the most successful fundraiser, for example, and also the least successful. Drawing with your mouse can be a little tricky, so you might want to try the feature out before you use it in front of an audience. To erase any markings, open the menu again and choose one of these options. When you're done, you can switch back to the regular mouse pointer by deselecting the current tool. I think I'm ready to wrap this up, so I'm going to exit the slideshow now and go back to PowerPoint. To do this, just press Escape on your keyboard, or navigate past the final slide in your presentation, or go to the Slide Options menu and choose End Show. Before we leave, PowerPoint will ask if we want to keep the ink markings we just made. I'm going to keep them for now, which means that they stay on the slide, but we can delete them at any time. Just select the mark, then press Delete or Backspace on your keyboard. What if you're going to be using a second display to give your presentation, like a projector or a separate monitor? There's actually a really cool feature called Presenter View that can give you extra help behind the scenes. Here's how it works. First, start your presentation as usual, then go to the Slide Options menu. Next, choose Show Presenter View, and you'll be taken to a special set of tools that only you can see. The audience will just see the presentation as normal. The layout is pretty different compared to normal presentation mode, but if you look closely, you'll find a lot of familiar features. For example, here are most of the options that we discussed earlier, including the pen tool, the show all slides button, and also arrows for navigation. There's even a place to keep track of the time, preview the upcoming slide, and reference any notes that you've added, all of which can come in really handy. When you're done, go ahead and click the button that says End Slideshow. There's just one more thing I'd like to show you that can help with your presentation, depending on what you need. 
Make sure that you're on the Slideshow tab, then click Set Up Slideshow. And you can access settings that control how your presentation is played. For instance, if you ever need your Slideshow to run on a loop, maybe at a kiosk or a trade show booth, there's an option for that here. You can also control which slides are included in the presentation, whether they advance manually or automatically, and much more. Now you know how to present your slideshow in PowerPoint. With a little practice, and with so many extra tools, you'll be a better presenter in no time. Mm -hmm.